Liberalism in the Netherlands started as an anti-monarchical effort spearheaded by the Dutch statesman Thorbeck, who almost single-handedly wrote the 1848 Constitution of the Netherlands that turned the country into a constitutional monarchy. In contemporary politics, there are both left and right-wing parties that refer to themselves as liberal, with the former more often espousing social liberalism and the latter more often espousing classical liberalism. A common characteristic of these parties that they are nominally irreligious, in contrast to the traditionally dominant and still popular Christian parties, this article gives an overview of liberalism in the Netherlands. It is limited to political parties with substantial support, mainly proved by having had a representation in Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> Background The Netherlands has a long liberal political tradition. From the founding of the Dutch Republic in the 16th century to beginning of the 19th century the main political conflict was between the liberal urban patriciate and the supporters of the House of Orange, from the lower class and orthodox variants of Protestantism. The urban patriciate favoured religious tolerance. Between mid-19th century to the late 1800 they were a dominant force in shaping the Dutch parliamentary democratic Rechtsstaat. In the early 20th century the liberals split between progressive liberals and conservative liberals. Due to their political division and the introduction of universal suffrage the liberals disappeared from the political stage. After the Second World War the liberals were united again under one roof, the VVD, but the party remained small. It entered some administration coalitions as a junior party. A progressive liberal party, D66 was founded in 1966. Since the 1970s however liberalism has been on the rise again electorally. Since 1977 the largest, more conservative, liberal party, VVD has been in government for 22 years. In early 21st century the VVD saw major splits over the issue of integration and migration. In 2010, they won the national elections for the first time in its history. Before 1918 In the early years of the Kingdom of the Netherlands 1814 the House of Representatives was dominated by conservatives supportive of the policy of government of William I and later William II. From 1840 onward, the amount of liberals in the House gradually increased. These liberals advocated a parliamentary democracy with a directly elected House of Representatives and in which the ministers, not the king, had executive power. In 1844, nine liberal representatives led by the jurist and historian Johann Rudolf Thorbeck attempted in vain to amend the constitution and introduce parliamentary democracy. In 1848, amidst a wave of revolutions across Europe, the balance of power shifted in favor of the liberals. In order to prevent civil unrest in the Netherlands, William II formed a commission, chaired by Thorbeck, which would draft a new constitution. The new constitution, which was introduced in October 1848, limited the power of the king by introducing ministerial responsibility and by giving Parliament the right to amend laws and hold investigative hearings. It also extended the census suffrage and codified civil rights, such as the freedom of assembly, the privacy of correspondence, freedom of ecclesiastical organization and the freedom of education. In the period following the constitutional amendment, liberalism was the dominant political force in the Netherlands. Liberalism also dominated the universities, the media and business. The liberals supported a laissez-faire economy, free trade, civil rights and a gradual expansion of suffrage. Thorbeck became Prime Minister of the Netherlands in 1849, and would serve two more terms throughout his lifetime. Because of their dominant position, the Liberals did not deem it necessary to organise themselves in a political party. Instead there was a loose Liberal parliamentary group and locally organised Liberal caucuses. The Liberals also did not organise their own pillar, a system of like-minded social organisations. The liberals were politically allied with the Catholics, whom the liberals granted considerable freedom of religion. After Thorbecki's death in 1872, the liberals grew increasingly disunited. By 1897, a division had emerged between the supporters of the progressive liberal Jan Capain van de Capello on the one side, and those of the conservative liberal Johann Georg Gleichmann on the other. Only in the late 19th century, when the opposition began to organize itself in the anti revolutionary party and the Roman Catholic State Party, the liberals followed suit. 
On 4 March 1885, the Liberal Union was established. In the 1890s some Liberals, such as Samuel van Houten, Johannes Tock van Portvliet and Capain van de Capello started to propose a more active role of the government, breaking with the Thorbeckian laissez-faire ideal. This led to the establishment of the Progressive Free-Thinking Democratic League in 1901. The Liberals saw a second split with the establishment of the more conservative Liberal League of Free Liberals in 1906. There are different names for these two tendencies. The more progressive liberals have been called radical, free-minded, or democratic liberals, while the more conservative liberals have been called free or old liberals. The issue which divided the liberals most was the question whether to extend the census or even to introduce universal suffrage. The progressive liberals favored universal suffrage, the conservative liberals did not. The progressive liberals also favored government intervention in the economy, such as Van Houten's ban on child labor. Due to the two-round electoral system the liberals were required to cooperate. In order to prevent the coalition of Catholics and Protestants win the second round of the elections, all the liberals united behind their candidates in the second round, often joined by social democrats. This alliance was called the Concentration. On basis of concentration pluralities, often supported by Social Democrats for a majority several cabinets were formed in the early 20th century. In 1917 under one of these liberal minority cabinets universal male suffrage was introduced, as well as a proportional electoral system and equal finance for religious schools. This compromise was called the Pacification of 1917. The extension of suffrage however severely weakened the position of the liberals. Of the 37 seats they had in 1917, they were left with 14 in 1918. 1918–1994 In 1922 the Liberal parties reorganized, all conservative liberals, from the Liberal Union and the League Free Liberals as well as more conservative liberals from smaller parties, joined to form the Liberal State Party. The Progressive Liberals remained separate in the Free-Minded Democratic League, a merger of the Radical League and Progressive Liberals, that had already been formed in 1901. In the interbellum the Liberals grew even smaller. Under pressure of the Wall Street crash of 1929 and the rise of the National Socialist Movement, the Liberals did cooperate as junior partners in several cabinets in the crisis. After the Second World War the Conservative Liberal Liberal State Party refounded itself as Freedom Party. The Progressive Liberal Free-Minded Democratic League joined the new Dorbrock left-wing Labour Party. Several progressives were unhappy with the social democratic course of the PVDA and joined the Freedom Party to found the People's Party for Freedom and Democracy in 1948. The VVD remained a small party until the 1970s, with about 10% of the vote. They did however form part of the government both in the Grand Coalition with Social Democrats, Catholics and Protestants in the late 1940s early 1950s, and with the Catholics and Protestants over the course of the 1960s. The party was led by the former leader of the Free-Minded Democratic League, Peter Oud. In the Dutch pillarized political system the Liberals mainly appealed to urban, secular upper and middle class. The Liberals did not have a strong pillar of social organization, such as trade unions and newspapers, like the other political families had. Instead they were aligned with the weak neutral pillar in 1966 a radical democratic party was founded, Democrats 66. In the foundation several progressive liberals from the VVD had been involved. The party sought to radically democratize the political system, the society and the economy. D66 was led by the charismatic Hans van Mierlo. The party joined forces with the Social Democratic PVDA and the progressive Christian PPR to work for a more fair and democratic Netherlands. The party participated in the left-wing cabinet Den UYL. Over the course of the 1980s however the party began to espouse a more progressive liberal course, especially under Jan Turlo. The party remained an ally of the PVDA however, joining a short-lived centre-left coalition cabinet with the PVDA and the Christian Democratic CDA in 1981. In the meanwhile the VVD had grown considerably. Under the leadership of Hans Wiegel the VVD has taken a more conservative course. The party began to criticise the large and inefficient welfare state. 
The party combined this economic liberalism with progressive positions on social issues, which characterized the 1970s, such as abortion, homosexuality and women's rights. The VVD capitalized the weakening of religious and depolarization of the 1970s and made considerable electoral gains. In 1967, the party won just over 10%. In 1981, this had more than doubled to 23%. Between 1982 and 1986, the VVD cooperated in the center right cabinet's Lubbers, which implemented a far reaching reform of the welfare state the VVD had advocated since the 1970s. Topic. After 1994 In 1994 the Christian Democratic CDA lost its traditional electoral power base. The VVD and D66 won considerably. A progressive purple cabinet was formed by D66, the VVD and the PVDA. The cabinet managed a thriving Dutch economy, implemented progressive social legislation on euthanasia, gay marriage and prostitution. In the 2002 election campaign the Purple Coalition came under heavy criticism of the populist politician Pim Fortyne for mismanaging the public sector, migration and the integration of migrants. The two liberal parties lost considerably in the elections. Liberalism in the Netherlands came under attack after the shock assassination of Fortyne just days before the election. The VVD however joined a coalition cabinet with the heirs of Fortyne and the CDA. The cabinet fell shortly. After the 2003 elections the D66 replaced the LPF. The center-right cabinet implemented reforms of the welfare state and oversaw declining migration figures. The issue of migration and integration however, and especially the place of the Islam in the Netherlands. In 2003 the VVD had invited social democratic critic of Islam, Ayan Hersi Ali to join their parliamentary party. She together with MP Geert Wilders caused considerable controversy with her direct criticism of the Islam. In the cabinet VVD minister Rita Verdink sought to limit migration and stimulate integration of minorities. Two years after Fortyne's assassination, another murder, this time of filmmaker Theo van Gogh, put the country's liberal tradition at further risk. In 2004 Geert Wilders left the VVD to form the Party for Freedom, which combined in compromising criticism of Islam with a plea for lower taxation and skepticism towards European integration. In 2006 a conflict between Hersey Ali and Verdink over her status as an asylum seeker caused the downfall of the cabinet after D66 had revoked its confidence of Verdink, whose positions on migration the party had already distanced itself from. In the 2006 general election the VVD and D66 lost considerably, D66 lost three of its six seats, the VVD six of its 28 seats. Wilder's PVV won nine seats. Rita Verdink, second on the list of the VVD won more preference votes than the party's top candidate Mark Ruta. After demanding the leadership of the party, Verdink left the VVD to form her own nationalist party, proud of the Netherlands. In the European Parliament election of 2009, the VVD and D66 both won three seats each, while PVV picked up four seats. The PVV will be assigned the additional seat that becomes the Netherlands after the Treaty of Lisbon is signed. The VVD and D66 joined the Liberal fraction in the European Parliament, while the PVV did not register as member of any fraction. In the 2010 general election the VVD became the largest party with 31 seats, making a Liberal-led coalition a possibility for the first time since 1918. Also D66 increased their number of seats to 10. Ultimately, the VVD opted for a coalition with the CDA, with VVD leader Mark Ruta as Prime Minister the first liberal to hold the post since 1918. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Individual liberal parties. Note the sign denotes parties which never achieved any representation in parliament. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> From Liberal Union until People's Party for Freedom and Democracy. 1885, Liberals formed the Liberal Union Liberal Uni. 1892, a radical faction formed the Radical League 1894, a conservative faction formed the Free Liberals 
1901, a radical faction seceded to merge with the Radical League into the Freethinking Democratic League. 1921, the LU merged with the Economic League, the League of Free Liberals, the Neutral Party and the Middle Class Party into the Freedom League 1922, a conservative faction seceded as the Liberal Party 1928, the Vrijiadsbond is renamed in Liberal State Party 1929, Stallman, founder of the Middle Class Party, leaves the LSP and found the Middle Party for City and Country 1945, the LSP is reorganized into the Freedom Party Partij van de Vrijide, including a faction of the Freethinking Democratic League. 1948, the Freedom Party merged with former members of the Freethinking Democratic League into the present-day People's Party for Freedom and Democracy Volkspartij voor Vrijheid en Democrata. <laughs> Radical League and Free-Minded Democratic League 1892, a radical faction of the Liberal Union formed the Radical League radical bond. 1901, a second radical faction of the Liberal Union merged with the Radical League into the Free-Minded Democratic League 1917, a right-wing faction seceded as the Economic League 1946, the Free-Minded Democratic League merged into the present-day Labour Party Partij van de Arbeid, a faction joined the Freedom Party 1948, some former members left the Labour Party and merged into the People's Party for Freedom and Democracy. Topic: <laughs> League of Free Liberals. 1894, a conservative faction of the Liberal Union formed the Free Liberals Since 1906, renamed the League of Free Liberals Bond van 1921, the League merged into the Freedom League. Topic: Economic League. 1917, a right-wing faction of the Freethinking Democratic League formed the Economic League, Bond. 1921, the League merged into the Freedom League. Topic: Liberal Party. 1922, a right-wing faction of the Freedom League formed the Liberal Party Liberal Partage and disappeared in 1925. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Democrats 66. 1966, independent progressive liberals formed the Party Democrats 66, Democraten 66, later without apostrophe. Liberal leaders Liberals in the 19th century Johann Rudolf Thorbeck Joannes Kapane van de Capello Peter Kort van der Linden Liberal Union Nicolas Pearson Theo de Meester Cornelis Lely Johannes Tock van Portvliet Hendrik Goman Borgesius Peter Rink Radical League Willem Troop League of Free Liberals Willem de Beaufort Hendrik Dresselhuis Samuel van Houten Minard Tiedemann Hendrik Cohenrod Dresselhuis Economic League Willem Troop Free Thinking Democratic League Philip Konstam Dirk Boss Hendrik Lodeveik Drucker Peter Oud Rolf Cranenberg Dolf Jokies Liberal Party Samuel Van Houten Freedom Party Stephen Birema Liberal State Party Hendrik Cohenrod Dresselhuis Dirk Falk Willem Karel Wendelaar Bentelders People's Party for Freedom and Democracy Peter Oud Edzo Toxipius Molly Geertsema Hans Wiegel Ed Nijpels Rudolf de Kort Joris Vorhove Fritz Bolkstein Hans Dijkstel Jarrett Zom Josias van Artsen Mark Ruda Dirk Sticker Harm van Riel 
Haya van Summeren, Fritz Korthals Altes, Anne Marie Joritsma, Neely Kroes, Hans van Balen, current. Evo Opstelten, Democrats 66, Hans van Mierlo, Jan Turlo, Alexander Pechtold, current. Topic: Liberal thinkers. In the contributions to liberal theory, the following Dutch thinkers are included: Erasmus (1466–1536), Hugo Grotius (1583–1645), Baruch Spinoza (1632–1677), Johann Rudolf Thorbeck (1798–1872). Topic: Parliamentary representation. Topic: See also. History of the Netherlands. Politics of the Netherlands. List of political parties in the Netherlands. Orangism, Kingdom of the Netherlands. Socialism in the Netherlands. Christian democracy in the Netherlands Pim Fortein List Party for Freedom <laughs>